Naruto, Ten Shinobi who let Kanoha down. Betrayal, self-sabotage, and turning evil. These are just a few of the ways in which Shinobi have failed not only themselves but Kanoha as well. In the Naruto universe, many Shinobi from Kanoha contribute to their village to the best of their ability. What they have offer may sometimes drastically vary, but there is nonetheless a sense of devotion to the communal will of fire that keeps the leaf alive. However, there are certain ninja who have failed to live up to the expectations of their village. Worse yet, they let their people down through their actions, deliberately or otherwise. 10. Abito unleashed Kurama on the leaf. Abito began his life as a promising young ninja under the tutelage of Minato. However, after a mission went awry and his body was crushed by a boulder. He came under the sway of Madara Uchiha. Through deception, patience, and timing, Madara convinced him of the leaf's corruption and that the only way to right the ninja world's wrongs was to cast the infinite Tsukuyami. Toward this end, Abito helped to unleash Kurama on the village and fought against the allied shinobi forces in the Fourth Great Ninja War. 9. Madara broke his truce with Hashirama due to the Uchiha tablets. With their clans having warred for ages, Madara and Hashirama finally agreed to a truce and formed the Leaf Village together. While both factions prospered under this arrangement, Madara quickly grew distrustful of his new partner, especially given what was inscribed on the Uchiha tablets. After enslaving Kurama, he attacked Hashirama and hoped to assassinate him. Fortunately, since none of Madara's kin joined him in his sinister endeavor, they were not incriminated when he was inevitably defeated and forced to retreat underground for the remainder of his life. 8. Kabuto defiled the dead served Orochimaru. Although introduced as a hero, Kabuto's sinister nature was soon brought to light after he reported his findings to Orochimaru. Were it not for his influence, the fallen Sanmin never would have thought to corrupt Sasuke and turn him from the leaf. Kabuto himself has also committed atrocities that arguably eclipse his masters. Not only did he nearly murder Naruto and Tsunade with chakra scalpels, but he also conspired with the Akatsuki and defiled so many corpses that he was able to create an entire army of undead to fight in the Fourth Shinobi War. 7. Tsunade shunned her duties was fairly unaccomplished for a Hokage. Tsunade was easily the most irresponsible of the Hokage, given her tendency to run from responsibility and delegate important paperwork to her assistant. Shizun. She maintained a love for alcohol and gambling after taking office, one which hindered her ability to perform. Moreover, she has seldom actually won any of her own battles. Tsunade would have been defeated by a weakened Orochimaru without Jiraiya's presence, and she failed to stop or even slow down Madara with the combined assistance of Kage from the other nations. Her only tangible achievement was how she helped to cultivate Sakura's potential. 6. Orochimaru abducted children murdered the third Hokage. Orochimaru is one of the most notorious ninja to have ever emerged from the leaf and for good reason. Most of the experiments he conducted were performed on abducted travelers, many of whom were barely old enough to be genin. In addition to being responsible for the corruption of Kabuto and Sasuke, Orochimaru also murdered Kazakage Raza and Hokage Hiruzen Sarutobi. His actions spurred a brief but costly war between the sand and leaf villages. 5. Ibiki seldom contributed to the village failed to slow pain down. Given his fearsome appearance and status as the leaf's interrogator, one might assume that Ibiki was a formidable ninja. However, he has virtually never made any actual contributions to Kanoha despite what his reputable status might suggest. His only real opportunity came during Nagato's invasion of the village. Ibiki managed to corral one of the paths into a genjutsu torture chamber and attempted to force information from them. However, since Nagato's vessel couldn't feel pain, 
his efforts were pointless, and he was almost immediately defeated. 4. Kurinai retired prematurely due to her pregnancy. Kurinai was one of the foremost experts on Genjutsu in Kanoha and the leader of her own team of Chunin. Despite being a reputable member of her community, she has seldom actually done anything to protect it. Itachi almost immediately defeated her during the Akatsuki's incursion of Kanoha, and she became pregnant shortly after. Since she decided to look after her child rather than return to the shinobi world, she never had a chance to prove her skills to her comrades and sufficiently safeguard the leaf. 3. Hayashi Hyuga was abusive of his own children. Hayashi Hyuga was a prominent figurehead in the Hyuga clan and the father of Hinata. Not only would he seldom participate in the leaf's survival, but his personal life was also extremely alarming. For example, Niji was branded to be his clan's vassal and was permanently disfigured since childhood. Worse yet, he was overbearing and ruthless to Hinata often resulting in the young girl taking serious beatings from her peer. Although Hayashi mostly manages to keep his clan's affairs internal, his tendencies embody the worst aspects of the village and why its detractors might have a point. 2. Danzo Shimura committed genocide, attempted to assassinate a Hokage, conspired with Kanoha's enemies. Danzo Shimura was the leader of the foundation, a group allegedly dedicated to the leaf's protection. However, he oftentimes used it for his own ends, indulging in clandestine missions like working with Orochimaru and attempting to assassinate Hiruzen Sarutobi. Perhaps Danzo's best-known atrocity is the Uchiha massacre. Although Itachi was technically responsible, Danzo left him no other choice since his shinobi attacked and nearly murdered Shirsui. Itachi may have been willing to oblige the villain's request. But it came with a grave warning, should he attempt to target his brother, the consequences would be grave and immediate. 1. Sasuke Uchiha was an international fugitive who attempted to enslave the entire world. Initially, Sasuke Uchiha's quest was solely to avenge his clan by killing Itachi. After realizing his brother's actual goals and the corruption of the leaf itself, he adjusted his focus toward complete world domination. Sasuke figured that the only way to unite others was through a mutual fear and hatred for him, using the power he wielded to keep them in line. To this end, he became an internal fugitive and nearly made the leaf's cooperation with the other four nations impossible. <laughs> 